everybody's doing really well today. I'm here to do an autumn spooky season themed new coloring book releases video. What a mouthful. Uh, but chit chatting to you, uh, while chit chatting to you, I'm going to be coloring in the 50 diminutive countryside scenes by Camellia Angel Kova. So I obviously I've already started working on the page. Uh, and I'm really enjoying it so far. I'm just using a collection of Brute Funners and a few Prismacolors here and there. As I've mentioned quite often, I have a 12 pack of the Prismacolors. So um, very limited color palette, but I do sprinkle them in whenever I can. But yeah, I've been seeing so many new releases that are autumn, Halloween themed. And I personally am not yet there mentally and emotionally. Um, I'm still in the summer mindset, but I know a lot of folks are just ready for autumn season. I have already seen that Dunkin' and I'm assuming also Starbucks have released like pumpkin spice items, baked goods, beverages. So I know it's tis the season, uh, tis approaching. But so I have 10 books I'm going to talk about today and all of them have been released within the last couple of weeks. So all brand new releases, all super excited, and all are linked down below. The first one I'm gonna talk about is brand new. It was released August 15th, and it's from Deborah Muller. We love a good Deborah Muller book, and it is called Zodiac Witches. And it's witches for all of the Zodiac signs, as promised. Um, Unfortunately, on Amazon, you cannot see any of the previews of the pages, but I did see a couple previews on her Facebook page, and they look pretty cool. They definitely do look very, very cool, and of course, it's the um, infamous Deborah Muller style. Um, per usual, everything is single-sided. It's white-backed, if I'm not mistaken. There are 32 images. And I don't think there's any duplicates. No. So 32 images and it's $8.99 right now. I also saw her post on Instagram that she has uploaded the PDF version of it to her Etsy. So if you don't want to buy the actual printed copy, you can snag the, um, the PDF off of her Etsy store, which I think is cool. Um, so definitely check that one out. I mean, Deborah Muller also has a, a great collection of aut other autumn books. So if this one's not your cup of tea, I'm sure one of her other books, um, I think she has like over 100 books at this point, um, is definitely going to be up your alley. And there's actually another Deborah Muller book that I wanted to talk about. It's a little bit older. It's from August 4th, but... I mean, the fact that she's producing two books within the span of a week, wow. Um, but it's called Gothic Charm School. And again, single-sided. This one does have 28 images and no duplicates. And I don't believe they're perforated. They're Amazon printed. So that will speak to the quality of the paper. But again, if you wanted the PDF, and you just wanted to print it out on your own paper, um, you can find all of these books on her Etsy as well. So for the Gothic Charm School, it says, these Gothic girls are attending Charm School and need help learning how to walk, talk, drink tea, and curtsy. Dressed in Gothic style clothes with just a little Gothic romance and ready to color. The whimsical book by artist Deborah Muller is full of imaginative images done her fun and unique style. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Also, unfortunately, no preview on Amazon, but yeah, check out her Facebook page if you wanted a little previews. And I'm assuming maybe at least this one, the Gothic Charm School, there might be a flip on somebody's channel on YouTube at this point. But the other one, since it was just released, I don't know if anybody has been able to order it, receive it, and have the time to film it a flip just yet. So... We shall see. But those are two Deborah Muller books I wanted to start off with. And the next one is 
also brand new. So it is from Alexandra Francesi. I believe that's how you say her name. So she used to be affiliated with Jade Summer and then she kind of went out on her own and she's been printing. She started her solo career, let's say it that way. So the book is called Spooky Vibes, Halloween coloring book. And it's $7.99. And she did, I think she did an autumn Halloween book last year and it was super, super popular. So she's done it again. It's adorable. It's super cute. There's 35 images. Um, they're not black backed, so they're blank on the back. Um, there's some light shading in there, which I think is pretty typical for her books. So I don't think that's a deviation from what she normally does. And there's no duplicates. It's currently $7.99. Um, and everything is hand drawn, of course, unique, and it has Halloween characters, spooky ghosts, cute witches, and lots of pumpkins. I love me some pumpkins. Even though I was just like, yeah, I'm not in the fall, I'm not in the full, full, I'm not in the fall mood yet, which I'm not, but I love me a good pumpkin. Like, I love coloring pumpkins. Ironically, I don't actually really enjoy pumpkin flavored things. I usually get like one pumpkin spice latte season just to say I've done it. But yeah, I don't know why we're going off on this tangent, but the book is really cute. You can see some previews on Amazon and they look super cute. They're not super detailed by any means. It looks like the line work is nice and thick. So you're gonna be able to use your alcohol markers in this book and not be too concerned about bleed through. So it looks really sweet. And I, there's a picture of a gnome on a pumpkin and it's so cute. Again, I'm a sucker for a good pumpkin page as well as a good gnome page. So that just combines two of my coloring interests, I guess you could say. <laughs> um, then moving on to a Sally Berry book, also brand new, it was released August 15th. It's currently $4.99, so I'm not sure if that's going to go up, like if this is an introductory price, but it's called Witch Beauties. Yeah, amazing witchcraft, magical potions, and witch life coloring designs. It is um, Amazon printed. There are 33 unique images. Um, they're black backed, if I'm not mistaken. And then... Um, no duplicates. Did I already say that? I might have said that. But single-sided, no duplicates, black-backed, and 33 images. You can see previews, and it looks interesting. It definitely looks interesting. Very thick line work. I think alcohol markers would be perfect. Um, I think some of the images would be also really cool to see done in watercolor, but this paper is not not really known for handling watercolor, but maybe if you were to scan it into some better paper, I think it would be some, I think there's a lot of really cool potential with this book with water-based mediums. That's just my humble opinion. I also don't ever use watercolor because I'm terrified. So I don't know why I am putting my two cents in, in there, but it just looks really cool. Like it would do really well with water-based mediums, assuming the paper was better but moving on well actually let's see the description and it says discover the amazing selection of witches coloring pages made by sally berry and get hours of fun relax and stress relief i don't know if that's a proper sentence um the witch beauty's coloring book has been prepared with the help of an expert psychologist oh my okay to include illustrations which can bring serenity and peace I don't know if I believe that. Um, call me a skeptic, but I think isn't the whole like process of coloring supposed to be like relaxing? Hasn't that been proven to like calm one's like heartbeat and stuff like that? No, I don't know. But okay, I'm glad they got a psychologist involved. I'm, I mean. I'm all for that, but I, I didn't know that. <laughs> that was unexpected. Uh, yeah. Anyways, moving on to the next book. 
and it's by Morgana, Morgana Sky, I believe is how you say it. And it's called The Witch's Cottage. It's currently $3.99, which is amazing. And it was released on August 8th. So I'm gonna say it's probably just an introductory price, but for $3.99, that's great. Um, there are, let's see how many pages. So it says, visit an enchanted witch's cottage deep in the woods and discover a world of bubbling potions and mysterious spells with over two dozen hand-drawn illustrations. Okay, so at least 24, so I'm gonna go say maybe 25. I, I don't know. Um, I don't know if they're duplicates. Uh, includes a gorgeous collection of thumbnails, plus a bonus color test page. Wonderful. Um, I don't know, it doesn't say, I don't own any of their books. So I can't speak from experience, but you can see the preview on the back. And they I think this is the most detailed book in this video so far. It's definitely not crazy detail. Like it's not a Kirby Rosanna uh, level, but it's definitely more detailed than the others. It does look really nice. There's a cat page surrounded by pumpkins. You know, I would like that. So if you are into like, cottage coloring and witchy stuff. I think this could be a cool one. So I don't know why this is looking so incredibly streaky. It's really upsetting me. But um, it looks interesting. I mean, I wish there was more information about like the actual number of pages and such. Maybe they had that information on their Instagram. I'm not sure. I do follow them on Instagram, but I just haven't really looked into it deeply. But another cool witch book, and I have to say the cover, I love this like dramatic witch walking down the stairs. It just gives me like early 2000s makeover scene, you know, when um, like she like walks down the stairs and everybody's like, oh my gosh. Anyways, <laughs> um, the next book I am so excited about. I actually watched a flip this morning. I forget on whose channel. And I was like, oh my gosh, that book is just adorable and it is the new book by rj hampson who i feel like by the way also has been getting much more like recognition and uh, mentions recently and fully deserved the books are amazing this one so cute it is called forest songs sorry for forest song i can't speak and it's 9.95 was released August 12th, so also very, very new. And there are 25 unique images. There are duplicates, so you overall get 50 images. They are single-sided, and I don't know if it's black-packed, I'll be honest. But it says, first, Forest Song is the perfect remedy to help shake off the stress that ref and refocus your mind. And, um, it's so adorable. There's so many cute little creatures, um, like little squirrels and birds and just, oh, like chipmunks and little like forest dwellers and deer. There's a lot of deer in this one and it just looks so sweet. So this is a book that I will 100% be purchasing like no questions asked about it. I'm I'm tempted to order it now and have it shipped to my parents because as I've mentioned a bajillion times, I am moving. Um, but I'm just gonna hold off on it till I actually move and then I'll purchase it. Cause I feel like there's no really, there's not a point to me ordering it now and having it sit around at my parents' place. I might as well just wait till I'm there. Um, but yeah, this one hands down, I'm gonna purchase. It looks so nice obsessed and now of course i want more of his books so we'll see how that goes but i'm assuming it means i'm just gonna buy way too many of his books <laughs> just to like cause a prediction here but then moving on to a book that a lot of you probably might have seen but i still wanted to shout it out because um it looks so cool <laughs> and it is the new one from coco wyo and it's called spooky town and this is kind of a follow-up um, sister, cousin book, whatever you want to call it, to Spooky Girl, which they released earlier in the year. That did super well. People love that book. And this one was released August 11th, and it's currently $7.99. 
Um, so there are, let's see how many pages. There's 40 illustrations. Oh, that's awesome. 40 illustrations. There's no duplicates. There's single side, single sided. And you can see previews on Amazon. Um, there's also probably at least one or two flip, flip throughs on YouTube at this point. But it's the same art style as Spooky Girl, which got a lot of love. Um, and I think it's black backed, but please don't quote me on that. And it says, embark on an adventure in a spooky town, a mysterious city inhabited by peculiar citizens. This book features 40 illustrations of townspeople, their daily activities and gatherings. Page by page, you will feel the excitement as you encounter spooky girl, vampire boy, crazy lady. Oh, I guess I'm in this book too. Uh -huh. uh, creepy mayor. Oh my, okay. Um, beardy man, silly baby, and many cute pets. I don't know how I feel about creepy mayor. Um, no. <laughs> um, oh, it says Coco Wild coloring books now have frames for each picture. Oh, that's amazing. I love that. So that's the one thing I really, well, one of the many things that I really, really appreciate and enjoy about Coco Wyo is that they really listen to their customers. You know, I feel like having a frame is something that so many of us value, but so many coloring book companies and artists don't do it. So that's the one thing, again, one of many things that I really enjoy by Coco Wayo is that they are willing to make changes based on feedback, which is absolutely amazing. So this looks cool. If you liked Spooky Girl, I mean, here's another one right here. Like if you liked that book, which a lot of people did, I think you would also appreciate this one. And it's just in time for Halloween. But I have to say, these pages are not too scary. Like, they're not gory by any means. None of the books that I'm talking about today are gory. They're all either just, like, autumn-themed or, um, like, cutesy creepy. Cutesy scary kind of thing. Um, so this is no different. And then moving on to a book by Elise Mayfield. So I have never heard of this artist before or a printing company, I'm not sure. Uh, but the book is called Easy Autumn and it is $6.99. And it looks really interesting. Like, I, I don't know if I've seen these images before. If Please take a look. If these are images you've seen before, like, oh, actually these were done by so-and-so and, -so and the, this person is just copying them, please let me know and I'll make sure to leave a comment down below so nobody purchases that book. But I think this is an original artwork because let's be honest, I've seen plenty of coloring books at this point <laughs> uh, due to my coloring, buying, YouTube video watching addiction. So I'm pretty sure this is unique work, but let me know if you disagree. But the images look absolutely adorable. There's like, again, pumpkins, love a pumpkin, squirrels, little other um, woodland creatures. There's some baked goods. There are some hot beverages. There is a cozy sweater with a pumpkin on it. I kind of want that sweater and I would wear it like 1000%. I love a good chunky, potentially ugly looking sweater. So, um, it says there are, does not mention the number of pages, that's wonderful, and they're single-sided, and let's see, with beautiful images featuring animals, food, spirit, spirit, and scent, scenery of fall, this easy autumn coloring book is sure to make coloring, coloring simple for everybody, which is amazing. So, I don't know how many pages. Overall, the page count is 106. So I, I don't wanna say there's 50 images to color because that seems a lot for $6.99, but maybe, I don't know. Um, but there's also a little information, I forget I'm supposed to be coloring. <laughs> Um, there's a little information about the artist and says my name is Elise Mayfield and I was born in Chicago. Since I retired, I've always wanted to bring people joy and fun 
people joy and fun times. I've been passionate about art and activity books since I was a little girl, and I also know how important it is for seniors my age to relax and unwind. My books are in large print for seniors and people with dyslexia, such as coloring, uh, word search, and other activity books. I hope to bring you joy. I hope to bring joy to you all. So I love that message, you know, of being more inclusive with who these coloring books would like work for. So do check it out. I believe, I believe this is original work. So if it is, that's amazing because I also love the message that the artist is trying to spread with her work. So then moving on to a book by Demita Victoria. This is the oldest one so far, do excuse. It's from July 31st of 2022. Um, and it's currently $5.99 and it's called Autumn Cuties, an adult coloring book featuring adorable and cute characters with beautiful autumn scenes, charming fall landscapes, and lovely animals. And there are, let's see how many pages, 40 images, love that, single-sided, black-backed, be warned, you are warned, they're black-backed, Amazon printed, and... I don't believe there are duplicates. Uh, maybe there are. Please don't quote me on that. I'm not sure. But you can see a preview on Amazon. And they look really cute. And they even have... Um, they brought back the character. I think it was like from like Big Eyed Girls, I think. Wasn't that but Demita Victoria? Um, so they have that character, that, that pretty Big Eyed Girl in here as well. And then also, of course, creatures, there's dogs, there's pumpkins. Um, so super cute book, pretty decent line work. Definitely not thin, but definitely not the thickest out of all the books that I've talked about today. But I definitely think you could use your alcohol markers in here, especially with it being single-sided. So it looks really cool. It's definitely an interesting collection of work. Like they, they, you get a range is what I guess I should say, which can be great, right? It's much better to have a range of images than basically the same thing over and over again. So it's cool. It's interesting. I don't have anything by Jamita Victoria, but I've always heard great things from individuals that do purchase their books. And I don't, I don't own their books, not because I don't like them, but again, because I'm moving. <laughs> I'm really, really trying to be minimal with my shopping. But once I relocate, please be prepared for that to change drastically. And I definitely foresee one or two Demita Victoria books being purchased, maybe even potentially this one, because I do like the art style. And then moving on to the last book that I have, and it's called Cute and Creepy by Coloring Book Cafe. And let me tell you, it's really cute. Not very creepy, but very cute. It's currently $5.95. And it is kind of chibi style, I would say. Um, you do get a bunch of previews on Amazon, which is lovely. Um, there are like ghosts, witches, there's also some like creepy, cute um, creatures. Like there's a devil cat climbing out of a pumpkin, of course. So definitely a range of images that you would get. Pretty good line work, um, very minimal backgrounds, if any, but I mean, you can always add in your own, right? Um, it is Amazon printed. Again, speaks to the quality of the paper. And single-sided, and they're all hand-drawn. Oh, I'm sorry, it says manga-inspired. I said cheapy, so my apologies. And it says, busting with over two dozen cute and spooky manga-inspired monsters, this one-of-a-kind collection blends the fun with the frightening. Oh, I like that. Bringing you a charming assortment of illustrations that draw on the imaginative style of Japanese manga and anime. From creepy horror classics like ghosts, mummies, and witches to film icons including Freddy Krueger and The Ring. Anybody else was like obsessed with The Ring in the 2000s, mid-2000s? No, just me? Okay. Um, so 
overall there's 70 pages in here so divided by 235 so I'm gonna say there's no duplicates that's my assumption on this one but you know coloring book cafe again is one of those tried and true printing companies that you know they're gonna produce good artwork it's legitimate and it's original so yeah, it's kind of bittersweet to see all of these fall books coming into play because I do have to say I do quite like the autumn season, but I also love summer and for where I live, you know, especially where I'm moving to, winter is very cold and very long. So fall is exciting, but at the same time, it just means that you know, the colder times are right around the corner. So it's definitely bittersweet, but these books are super cute. And I know so many people are already beyond in the fall mood, um, especially with, um, what was it? Um, Colorween, right? Um, there was also like a July ween. <laughs> I feel like I'm just adding ween to a bunch of different words at this point. But there were some autumn Halloween themed tags in reading and in coloring last month. So people are, uh, a lot of folks are definitely already in the mood for it. But yes, I had so much fun putting this vid video together. Um, it's also a little bit difficult to be in the fall mood right now because it's very toasty here. But one day, one day. Also, these windows are reminding me of pretzels. I think it's the color combined with the shape, but this definitely reminds me of pretzels. Um, also the ones that come in like Chex Mix, you know? Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, but thank you so much everybody for watching. Again, I will link absolutely everything down below and then I'll see you in the next one. Bye.